Washington's special representative for North Korea is calling on all sides to seize the chance to achieve the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Stephen Began was in Seoul on Tuesday to hear the latest on the situation from senior South Korean officials. Lee Sung Jae with, the, with this report. What South Korea and the U.S. have to do now is to finish the job. This is what U.S. Special Representative for North Korea Stephen Began said earlier when he had his first official sit-down with his South Korean counterpart Lee Do-hoon. Began arrived in Seoul on Monday and made his first diplomatic visit to the Foreign Ministry on Tuesday. Seoul Special Representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs Lee Do-hoon briefed Began on the latest developments on the Korean Peninsula, including the results of the Special Envoy's trip to Pyongyang last week. They also exchanged views on the current situation and had an in-depth discussion about the strategies needed to achieve the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and to achieve a stable peace in the region. Though Began said there is much work to be done, he seemed determined to move ahead. Uh, as we have spoken with, uh, we take uh, very seriously the responsibilities that are on both of us. Uh, we have some hard work to do, um, but we also have a tremendous opportunity created by President Trump, by President Moon, and by Chairman Kim. Um, and we need to do everything we can to, to take the most of this moment of opportunity. Um, I've heard that there's a Korean proverb that the beginning is half done. Okay. Uh, uh, and, uh, and this is the beginning. So uh, what we knew, need to do is uh, finish the job. Prior to his meeting with his counterpart, Began also paid a visit to Minister Kang Kyung hwa with whom he reaffirmed the Seoul-Washington alliance, especially with major diplomatic events coming up, including the inter-Korean summit in Pyongyang and the UN General Assembly. Began also met with Seoul's unification minister, Cho Myung-yoon. The inter-Korean liaison office is expected to be launched soon, so this meeting, according to the foreign ministry, will have contributed to the U.S. side's understanding of the situation. Began will conclude his three-day trip on Wednesday and fly to China and Japan, but he is expected back in Seoul sometime this week to share the results of his talks in Beijing and Tokyo. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.